Well, hello there and welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at updating passwords, okay? Um, so the vibe is when you click on update password, it's taking us to a URL called update p -word, and that's going to be remarkably similar to this create page here actually. It's just going to be a form with password and then underneath that repeat password and that's pretty much it, okay? So pretty easy, it's all cool. By the way, I've changed to the Vivaldi browser here. Um, I just thought I'd give it a try, you know, and do a little change. So I'm on Vivaldi just now. I thought I'd give Google Chrome a break. Anyway, let's get going. I'm going to open up store accounts. And this autogen stuff is nice. I think I'm going to use this in the future. It has been very good, but I'm going to copy it and paste it down here so that it's out of the way, okay? Then I'm going to go to this create function here and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste right up here, like so. And then we're going to have update underscore P word. Okay, so that's where we go when someone clicks update password. And as a matter of fact, uh, let me just show you what's happening. I'll just say echo hello, die. So if we click that, you can see if you look at the URL here that it's update P word and then the update ID. That's the ID of the store account. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. Now, um, right up the top here, when you think about it, we are always going to have an update ID, or at least we should always have an update ID. So I'm going to say if not is numeric update ID, then redirect store accounts manage. Now that should never happen, but it's just a little layer of security, okay? Now I'm going to do an else if statement, and we'll say else if submit is equivalent to cancel, then we're going to redirect to store, accounts, create, and update ID. Okay, so that takes care of the first section here. It's pretty straightforward. Let's move down and we'll do the rest of it. So next we've got uh, set the rules. I've, I'm going to have a field called P word, okay? And that's going to be called password. Now, by the way, why have I called it P-word? Well, it's kind of an old habit. I've been a web developer since the 1990s. And every website I've ever built has variables called password flying about here, there and everywhere. So I've found that when you call it P-word, uh, you never get conf you know these conflicts happening with other password variables. Listen, it's just an old habit. Don't worry about it, you know, it probably doesn't matter too much. Anyway, P word is going to be required. We'll have a couple of other things actually. Let's have min length of how about seven? And let's have max length of maybe 35, something like that. Now, if you're wondering where all these rules come from, they're coming straight from the Code Igniter uh, user guide. Look, here's all the rules, you see, here they are. And if I do something like, uh, uh, let's just see length, here we go. Um, and I'm all over the place. Uh, oh gee, oh gee. Um, where on earth's length? I can't even see. Maybe I shouldn't have changed browsers. Ah, oh, right, here's the search thing, okay. Okay, so do you see how it says max length 12, C? This is where I'm getting all this stuff from. Look, min length C, C. Uh, so that's the vibe. Good. Um, next, there's going to be another validation uh, rule here, which is going to be for repeat P word, and I'll call that one repeat password. And it's going to be required, and the rule here is going to be matches P word, okay? And again, sorry, matches with an S P word. And again, that's straight from the user guide. If you don't believe me, look, I'll do a search for matches. And look, here it is, see, see, straight from the user guide. So that's our validation rules. That's fantastic. Now, we don't need to do fetch data from posts. We're just going to say data. P word 
equals this input post uh, p word true we're only interested in updating one column right it's the column called p word now uh, there's always going to be an update id so we can take this if statement out here we can definitely do that and we can go like so and we're going to say the account password was successfully updated and divert back to the page that's all good now this section is all to do with repopulating the form we do not want to repopulate the form if it's a password so we're going to take this out okay next headline is always going to be update password okay uh, here we go update account password okay and let's tidy up and then the view file is going to be called update p word so if we refresh this page here like so you can see that it's trying to uh, load a view file called update p word now this view file is going to be remarkably similar remarkably similar to our create view file that we made previously so i'm going to duplicate the create thing and then i'm going to call it update underscore p word okay uh, and then i'm going to go into the views folder and open that up and i'm just going to go through and do a few tweaks so the first tweak is we don't need all of those buttons okay that's the first tweak and uh, I'll just say update form at the top here something like that and that the form location is going to be update underscore p word okay and we're going to have two form fields at the top only two we're going to have password and repeat password like so uh, uh, we are not going to fill in the value okay there's no form repopulation that's going to happen here so we'll take that out and in the name section here i'm going to say p word and for the next one it's going to be repeat underscore p word um the what else yeah the form type let me just move along a bit the form type is going to be password okay and i think that's us i think that's us actually that should be okay so let's save that and let's refresh the screen here here we go so it's saying password and repeat password right so uh, i'm going to make the passwords not match and we'll just see what happens right so here we go they don't match right and we do submit and it says the repeat password field does not match the password field fantastic let's do submit again we'll leave it empty and that's excellent okay so the errors are working fantastic let's check the cancel button that's perfect good now let's add a proper password we'll say hello you hello you and we'll do submit the account password was successfully updated so that's very cool indeed and hello honolulu however we have not encrypted the password let me just show you um if we jump in here ci shop store accounts uh and you can see that the password is just hello you right so that's very uh, very uncool so in the next video i'm going to show you how to encrypt passwords and uh, it shall be very cool so i'll see you then thanks a lot bye